Hi Naomi, tough luck tonight. Just how did you feel about the match? It, it seemed like very high quality at times. How did you see the way you played and how you feel? Um, I mean, I kind of thought that I played a bit too defensively. Um, I didn't really trust my forehand that much and I think that maybe you could see that a little bit. And I also felt like I was on my back foot a lot. Um, so yeah, overall I wouldn't say that I played very well, but I tried the hardest with what I could do. Uh, how do you compare this um, exit to other sort of early exits you've had uh, in terms of, you know, what your mindset is and moving forward and where you go from here? Um. <laughs> um. I'm not really sure. I feel like I lost in the first round of France too. So um, this year hasn't really been a great year, but um, I think it, it was just special to play on Ash. Like um, I think a lot of players would die for that opportunity and um, for the tournament to let me still play on that, even though I'm unseated. Um, I, I'm very thankful, so. luck today um, but just in terms of looking ahead I know it's the right after the match but do you have plans to kind of play a full schedule through the hard courts to the end of the year do you want to shut it down again like kind of where are you feeling there um I'm not really sure I'm more of like a winging it type of person so I'm never the type that really has a full set plan um I think I'll just take it day by day Ben um, I saw after the handshake you sat down. You took a photo. Mm -hmm. Was it of the court or what? What, what was? What was your thought there? I didn't see oh, it was just the court. the court. Just because it was, it looked cool. Why did you? I mean, what made you want to take a picture at that moment? Oh, just to like. Um, mm, like remembering it. Can I say how hard it is to come into a match like that? I mean, it was so clear that it seemed like both you and Danielle seemed to know you were coming into a match where you were going to have to have, like, second week form on opening night uh, when you still sort of have to get a feel for the conditions and everything like that. How, how hard is that? Uh, I mean, it was pretty hard for me. <laughs> Um, How hard is it and what, what can you possibly do to prepare for it? I mean, for me, uh, honestly, I just wanted to play without like my back being in pain because uh, it's, it's kind of been bad for like the entire hard court season since Toronto. So um, I didn't serve until like two days ago. So I was really happy with how my serve went. Um, and... I don't know. I just feel like these are one of the things that you can't, you don't plan for it. It just happened. Like, I didn't know that um, I was going to play her um, until a few days ago because I opened Twitter on accident. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think this is what makes you great, you know, like being able to win matches like this, even if it's in the first round. Okay, Jamani. Obviously, you've had some tough f first rounds um, in, in France as well. Are, are you at all motivated to kind of get your ranking up so, you know, in, in this situation you can maybe build into matches? Or does um, that, is that not in interest? I mean, my head's still, like, everywhere, but, you know, like, where you're, what you're asking me, um, I'm not really sure right now. Last two in English. Court, Ben. Just in terms of looking back kind of on this season, not just the slams, but um, the rest of the season as well, how much of, because you mentioned your back, how much of this season has been impacted for you just with respect to injuries? Because sometimes people think form or they think, you know, is she feeling okay? You know, all these sorts of things. But from your perspective, how much did the physicality of the season impact how you were able to play? Um, I mean, I only played Australia and like, <laughs> like clay court and then this season um uh 
I mean, I feel like everyone deals with injuries. So I, I would say, like, for me, it's been more prominent this year. But I think it's something that I can learn. I like I learned a lot more about my body and I learned like what's weak and what I could do to like prevent it. So um, I would say the sport is definitely very physical, but it's kind of my job to stay on top of it. Ben, last question in English, please. Uh, to our two parts, just following up what Courtney said on scheduling, J Japan is coming back on the schedule for the first time. Was that something you would like to play? And then when you said that your head is sort of everywhere now, where what sort of thoughts are you, are you having now? <laughs> You're like an investigator, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I would love to play Japan. I didn't. Um, the Olympics, there was no crowd, which was really sad, but um, I would love to um, have the opportunity to play in front of people in Japan. I have a pretty good track record there, so it would be nice. Um, when I say my head is everywhere, I just mean like I'm the type of person that thinks a lot like to the point where I overthink. Um, so sometimes when I play matches, I have to tell myself to like, to like stop thinking, just go more on instinct. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I feel like I just have to chill a little bit because there's a lot of like random chaos in my head right now.